Hi, my name is Marie and I'm finishing my PhD at Nuno Moraes Lab, here at IMM in Lisbon. In the lab, we study disease transcriptomics. That is, we use bioinformatic tools to look at the cellular transcripts that reflect their gene expression to address our scientific questions. My project was focused on Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases the two most common narrative disorders in the world, whose major risk factor is aging. Together, they account for more than 50 million cases worldwide, a number expected to increase due to the fact that the world population is living longer than ever. For most of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's cases, there is not a known cause, and despite all the research during the last centuries to better understand these diseases, current treatments are only able to alleviate the symptoms. Therefore, we wanted to better understand the molecular mechanisms that are affected in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's brains by comparing them to non-disease brains. Essentially, we wanted to know which gene expressions were altered in those diseases and then to assess if those changes could be targeted for future drug discovery. However, it is known that Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease brains have different brain cell types proportions, namely more astrocytes and macroglia and less neurons when compared to non-disease brains. As such, we needed to account for this unbalance in brain cell types in order to distinguish which gene expression changes were intrinsic to the diseases from the ones that were associated with different in brain cell types proportions. To do so, we took advantage of single-cell transcriptomic data to determine the specific gene expression profiles of each of the major brain cell types, that is, neurons, astrocytes, microglia and oligodendrocytes, to derive their gene expression signatures. Then, we use this gene signature in a tool to estimate the cell type proportion of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease brains as well as non-disease brains. We then investigated whether normal loss could be confounding or masking the intrinsic disease effect on gene expression. And indeed, we found genes that were previously reported as playing a role in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases, but we found out that these gene alterations were mainly due to the loss of neurons and not to the disease effect per se. Additionally, both disorders might share the same mechanism of disease progression, so we investigated the similarities between the intrinsic gene alteration in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's brains. This comparison allowed us to also distinguish genes that are commonly altered in both disorders as well as specifically perturbed in each one of them. Moreover, by comparing our results against a big data set of gene alterations that are the consequence of non-drug treatments, we computationally identified novel drug candidates that could specifically target Alzheimer's and Parkinson's associated alterations and therefore assist in developing new Alzheimer's and Parkinson's therapeutics. In summary, my PhD project helped to demonstrate the potential of using cellular composition when analyzing diseases at the transcriptomic level, as well as how to foster the discovery of potential therapeutic targets for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and even other neurodegenerative diseases.